Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to another edition of Crush Lusher Television. All right, we are continuing what we did last time with tangent lines, and now we're doing normal lines. Well, what the hell is a normal line? Well, let's find out. Here is the definition. Pause the video and write it down. Yeah, what's normal mean? Yeah, it just means perpendicular. It's a fancy way of saying perpendicular, a.k.a. 90-degree angle. So, we're going to do the same thing we did last time, but we're not going to find the tangent line. We're going to find the normal line. So, let me show you how to do that. We're going to do two of them, all right? Here we go. All right. So, normal line, I'm just going to write perpendicular lines here on my notes. Because it's the same thing. Bam. So a normal line is a straight line that passes through one given point on a curve and is perpendicular to the curve at that point. Okay, so like before, we had negative 1. This is what we did last video. We had negative 1 in this curve. G of x is x squared plus 3x plus 2. And we found that slope. That's the tangent line. When the slope turned out to be 1, right? So this is the tangent line. It's a slope at that one point, the instantaneous rate of change. Now, if I was to draw a perpendicular line to that, like this, right angle, because perpendicular creates right angles, this right here, this line I just drew, is the normal line. At x equals negative 1 right there. So that's the normal line. So it's just, this it's just some, a line that's perpendicular to the tangent line. Okay? So, how are we going to do this? So let's... Fine. Let's come up with the equation of the tangent line, no, sorry, normal line at x equals negative 1. So find the equation of this line right here, okay? So this is what we're going to do. So we always need, in order to find the equation of a line, we need the point right here. So x is negative 1 and y is 0. I can just get that from the curve right here of the picture. I'm going right off of this too. So if you're like, what the hell is that picture? Well, it's this picture right here. It's the same thing we did last time. Bam. So that's the normal line we're trying to find, okay? So it's already here on the PDF that's attached. Right? So, so next we've got to find the slope. So now we got to find the slope of this tangent line and then I find the opposite reciprocal and I get the slope of the normal line. So we got to find the slope. So g prime of negative 1, boom, equals the limit as h approaches 0 of g of negative 1 plus h minus g of negative 1 over h. You should be really good at just writing that down right now and getting, getting the whole thing all set up. Now, we're going to plug in negative 1 plus h into our equation right here, so function. So it's the limit as h approaches 0 of brackets negative 1 plus h squared plus 3 times negative 1 plus h plus 2. Minus, now I'm going to plug in negative 1 into g of x. So it's negative 1 squared plus 3 times negative 1 plus 2. Oops. All over h. Don't forget that denominator right there. Cool. All right, equals the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 1 plus h squared. we got to box that. And what do we get? Yeah, we got 1, negative h, negative 1h, negative 1h, or negative h, and h squared. So it's going to be do, 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 h squared minus 2h, because that's minus 2h there, plus 1. Do, do, distribute here, minus 3 plus 3h, and don't forget that plus 2 right there. Bam. All right, what's this here? So this is negative 1 squared, which is 1. 3 times negative 1 is minus 3 plus 2. 1 minus 3 is negative 2 plus 2 is <gasps> 0 minus 0. Cool. All over, don't forget the denominator, h equals the limit as h approaches 0 of, let's simplify this, what we got? So 1 minus 3 is negative 2, plus 2 is 0, goodbye. And then negative 2h plus 3h is 1h. So we get h squared plus 1h over h. Now if I plug in 0, 0 there, I'm going to get indeterminate, so you can't do that. So you got to factor. 
So I'm gonna factor out an h on the numerator. So it's the limit as h approaches zero of h over h plus one over h. h squared plus h, you distribute back, don't, don't. And so now plug in zero. So zero plus one, and so the slope is one right there. So the tangent line, the slope is one. So if the slope is one, the perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal of that. So when you do the reciprocal of one, that's still just one, and then it's positive, you gotta turn it to negative. So negative one is the slope of this line, of this normal line, negative one. The slope is positive one, the slope is negative one. So now I just take my point here, and I write my normal line, y minus zero equals negative one is my slope, x, here's my x plus one, bam. And this is an acceptable answer there. Or you can simplify y minus zero is y, don't, don't, negative x, negative times negative, times positive is negative, like that. If you want it in uh, slope intercept form. So either one of these is cool. Nice, let's do one more. Let's do one more so we can see it. All right, so I'm gonna do uh, this one right here. So another practice problem, write the equation of the line normal to the graph of f of x equals three x minus x squared at x equals negative three. All right, cool. All right, good. So I got my notes here. So if I was to draw a picture and visualize what the hell is going on, this is an upside down parabola. It looks something like this. I don't know. But I do know it's upside down parabola because you have a negative in front of the x squared. So it's at negative three. I don't know, like this is maybe negative three and this is the tangent line and then the normal line would be something like this. Okay. So what do we need to find? We need to find, we need to find the point first, right? So if x is negative three, what is the y point? Because we need, in order to get a line, we need a, a point and a slope. So I'm just gonna plug in negative three here. So it's three times negative three minus negative three squared. Three times negative three is negative nine minus negative three squared is nine. So minus nine. So it's negative nine minus nine Boop, boop, which is negative 18, bam. So it's negative three, negative 18. So actually, negative three is down here, so negative 18. Okay, so we got our point, our x and our y. What do we need next? Yeah, we need our slope. So we need to find the slope of the tangent line first, and then we're gonna do the opposite reciprocal to get my normal line, slope. So, G, sorry, it's F, F prime, which means the slope at exactly one point, negative three, equals the limit as H approaches zero, as the distance between the points approaches zero, of three, sorry, F of negative three plus H minus F of negative three over H. Keep forgetting whether I do F or G. F prime of negative three equals the limit as H approaches zero. So now you put negative three plus H in here. So that's three times negative three plus H minus negative three plus H squared. No, oh. minus, and now I gotta plug in negative three, but I already did that, didn't I? So I already plugged negative three in here and what do we get? Negative 18, so I'm just gonna put that right there. Ooh, be smart about it. Don't do the problem again if you don't need to. And there you go. All right. Now we need to simplify this garbage right here. So first thing I need to do is I need to box this off to the side. Negative three H negative three H negative three times negative three is nine negative three H negative three H H squared. Cool. So I also need to so I do a bunch of stuff. Equals the limit as h approaches zero of negative nine plus three h, that's this. And then a minus, keep these parentheses, got to distribute this negative here, all this stuff. So this and this is the same, but don't forget that negative right there. Okay, bring that down. So this is h squared minus six h 
plus nine. And then minus negative 18 is t -t plus 18 all over h. Cool. All right, so what am I going to do? So you have to distribute this negative in here. When you distribute the negative, all you're doing is you're essentially changing the sign. So boom. So h squared is going to be negative h squared. Negative 6h is going to be positive 6h. And 9 is going to be negative 9. Like so. Okay. Equals. Let's keep it going. Ooh, simplify. Negative 9, negative 9 is negative 18, plus 18 is 0. Cool. All right. So now I have negative h squared, and then 3h and 6h. So 3h and 6h is 9h over h. Oh, I forgot the limit. The limit as h approaches 0. Okay, same thing, factor on h, I don't care about this negative. I'm gonna do the same thing, equals the limit as h approaches zero of h. This is gonna be negative h plus nine over h. If you have some negative h squared plus nine h, if you distribute it right back. h divided h is one. And you're gonna plug in zero there. So it's negative zero plus nine is the slope, which is just nine. Cool. So nine is the slope of the tangent line. This is the tangent line slope. If I was asked to write the tangent line, I would use the slope, but I'm not, I'm asked to use the normal line. So if the slope is nine, the perpendicular slope is what? Yeah, negative one ninth, cool. So now I'm gonna use this point up here, negative three, negative 18. So it's y plus 18 equals negative one ninth times x plus three, and that's my tangent line right here. That's this line. Sorry, it's a normal line. This is your normal line. Cool, got it. All right, your turn to practice. So on the PDF that's attached, you have the answers and the problems to all these. So this is last time. Find the tangent line, approximate the value, and then you have to find the normal line on top of it. So you have to do all three parts, last lesson and this lesson for all these two, okay? So I want you to do these two remaining sets. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So six more problems, okay? Great job, check your answers on the other PDF that says solutions. Good work, everybody, take care.